So welcome back everyone, Mike here. These are not dumbbells. I don't even know what you call these things. I often wonder, and I'm sure it's hard to quantify, but how many arguments, maybe even separations or divorce, is a direct result of Pinterest. I don't even know what these are, but I was sent a picture and asked, to make something like this so I've got three of them done got about three hours wrapped up into this little project these are going to be used at daughter Hannah's baby shower this weekend and I guess they put either decorations on here or I don't know if they put food on it I'm not sure they're not really set up for food I mean to do that you would need you know dry wood sanded and some type of finish on it but this is green wood hopefully this is uh, satisfactory but this is sassafras and maple and I use timberlock screws I don't know they'll probably crack and check pretty bad but uh, they'll last a couple days which is all we need they'll probably end up in the burn pit So guess what I did? I forgot something and Melissa was kind enough to bring it out. Deliver. This is the camera that I use like if I'm sitting in the cab of the machine and I'll hook a microphone up and I can kind of talk while yeah. I'm working. And you know what? I meant to bring you an Afghan and I forgot. Oh, because it's so cold. Yeah. I tell you, it was cold this morning. But in your little cab. Oh, you can turn on the heat. Poor Mike is in there with the air conditioning. I know. Air conditioner, I had to heat on in the tractor this morning. It was 42 this morning, and yeah. uh, it's going to get down again tonight. It's already dropping. You can feel it. That's why I left my sweatshirt on. I had an appointment. I left the house early this morning for my appointment. It was cold, so I put on jeans and a sweatshirt, put my heated seat on in the Bronco. Love that luxury. And yeah, when I came home, it was warm. It was nice. It was a nice day, very nice day, sunny, but it didn't get hot. Uh-uh. No. no. Think, uh, it's beautiful. I think those days are numbered. Yeah, these these days could be great, which I don't see the leaves turning all so fast. Just a, But it's still only middle September, you know? Well, that's what I'm saying. Last year, don't you think they were changing in September? I don't know. I feel like they were, but I can't remember where my car keys are, so I don't know. We're getting ready. <laughs> well, I'm going to uh, get a big fire going here. I'll show these guys what I got going on. and uh, I have some things from my closet I need to burn. This morning, I started this video, and I worked on those things that I made for you, the Pinterest. Well, let me say, my friend Shelly is helping do the baby shower for our daughter Hannah this weekend. She's great. She's like a party planner, has all sorts of great ideas. She shows me that. I'm like, that looks great. Yeah, Mike can do that. And then I'm like, here, Mike, I need these. But I, um, yeah, I don't have a Pinterest, and I didn't come up with any of these pretty cool ideas. But I'm going to be able to take some pictures and share with all of you we're more party people like you got food you got yeah like bring some chips something to drink <laughs> and uh, i'll give you a chair <laughs> yeah that's the kind of party now we're used to doing the big fourth of july party we're doing the independence day party every year we've done that for 31 years and it's getting it's always getting bigger and it goes off with a boom you know the little parties are hard to do they are. Oh, I got to tell them something about the uh, 4th of July Independence Day. So if you remember, this year at the party, which was kind of Eva's graduation party, I got whacked in the thigh with a mortar, and it was all black and blue. It was nasty. It all was. swelled up. Uh, it was a bad injury. But the bruising all went away pretty quick and all that. But I had this real hard spot, like right on the side of my leg. I mean, hard as a rock. And I was concerned about it. And I talked to a guy, Scott, mm -hmm. and he said when he was younger, he said he got hit in the leg with a golf ball <laughs> from some kid driving a golf ball not like eight feet away. <laughs> and it sounded like a very similar injury. It was in the exact same spot. And I didn't say anything. He said, you know, I had this hard spot on my leg for six months, he said. I go, really? And I said, because I got the same, same thing. But mine has just went away. Feels totally normal finally. But... Uh, yeah, for the last couple months, it was just 
it was like there was a rock there. You know what I mean? But it's yeah. uh it was a lump. All better. All right, so we're gonna get to work. Uh, today kind of got away from me, but uh, we're gonna get something done this evening. That's the thing about nowadays, uh, the sun's going down pretty quick. It's like pitch dark at 8 p.m. But we're gonna get a rip roaring fire going here in just a bit. I've got some treetops right here. I just dropped that one limb off the side of that, or that cherry right there. It's deader than dead, nice and dry. So what I like to do is put this brush on there. I'll put some of that heavier stuff that's dead on top of it. And then uh, I might put a couple small stumps on it and then we'll light it up. And then while it's burning, I'll go back in there and knock down some more little ones. And uh, by that point, it's probably gonna be about dark. But you're wondering why I blow the horn. It's a little secret. So what I'm doing here, I've got a camera in the cab, and then I've got another one sitting over to my right about 50 feet. Well, I use the audio on the camera that's over to my right, and occasionally the video in the cab, and so I blow the horn, and then when I'm editing, you can see that little spike in the audio, and I know if I line that up with both clips, my lips are moving with the sound properly, if that makes sense. So that's why I do that. But yeah, we're going to uh, load up this fire here. Well, we don't have a fire yet, but we will here shortly. A lot of people mentioned before I should uh, dig a pit. I do like to dig a nice, fire pit it seems to work really well but out here I didn't want to do that because it's kind of hard to get good compaction in it you know when you're done so I was I was uh, pretty successful last time I burned the same pile for weeks like this one here, if I get it going, which I think we'll be able to, if I get her going though, you know, I can come out here tomorrow afternoon and just put more wood on it and it'll take right off. Got a whole tree connected there. something that uh, I had going on here and trying to decide on which safe to buy and the mess that Liberty Safe was in. And believe it or not, there's a reason I do that. Videos like that every once in a while. You know, lately, maybe once a week, I'll just kind of get on a topic and uh, discuss it. And I, you know, I kind of like doing it but I also think it's important for the channel. And, you know, some people, they always want everything 
some people, not everyone, but they want everything just to stay the same. And I've brought this up before. If you do that with your YouTube channel, it's as good as dead. It's just gonna peter out, nobody's gonna watch it, and you're gonna get bored making the videos, and it'll become apparent in the videos. Uh, you see boredom and like desperation when people start losing views, you can just kind of see it. And so I try to do things, add little things here or there, and do things a little bit differently. And from the analytics, it looks like, it doesn't just look like it, it is, the majority of those, majority of the people like videos like that where you talk about stuff. Not all the time, I'm not gonna do anything like that. And, and I could tell, like that video the other day, it was pre performing one of 10, which means out of the last 10 videos, that one performed the best. Because the YouTube thing, it's always evolving and always changing, and sometimes it's subtle changes that you don't even really notice, but you have to make those changes. I mean, there's channels out there a lot bigger than mine that know a lot more than I do, but that is one thing I have learned. You've got to adapt if you want to keep doing it and uh, make changes. Myself and Nathan from uh, Out of the Woods, we were talking the other day about this topic and I talked to some other channels as well. You know, like tractor videos, for example. I still, I like doing that kind of stuff. But I like doing videos, doing something here on the property. And then maybe I can showcase something along the way, if that makes sense. Uh, but as far as, you know, making a video on how to use a box blade or something, there's thousands of them on YouTube. I mean, thousands and thousands of them. And all that kind of stuff's been done over and over and over again. And, you know, if it's some real interesting piece of equipment or something like that, I get it. <laughs> but uh, you just can't keep doing the same thing. I'd get bored and so would you. So moving forward, I am gonna do more, maybe just one a week, some current events or uh, something else we have going on besides working outside. <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. What else I wanna do is uh, more lives. I don't do very many lives, but I like doing the lives. Uh, seems the better way to kind of interact with everybody that watches the channel because you're commenting live and I'm reading the comments live. I'm going to get set up in the in the building for a nice spot to do that and uh, I just ordered a new camera that'll, that'll work well for that. I have other cameras that uh, would be okay but uh, I just want it to look nice, look professional. Not that it probably matters, but whatever. Oh, this stuff here this is nice and dry, dead. You put this stuff up on top, and as all that brush burns down, it keeps the weight on it, keeps pushing it down, and uh, works out pretty good. this pile. I got a little diesel fuel, a little fire starter. Hopefully we can get her going. I, I think it will. This stuff hasn't been down that long, but at least the leaves will get going. I put just a uh, little bit of fire starter right there. And what I'll do, 
I got my uh, garden sprayer with diesel fuel. I'll just kind of get her going up underneath all that. It should take off. Soak her down a little first up here. Don't want to use too much. Price is rising. All right. Boy, I got a rip roaring fire going there. That was uh, one of the easier ones to get going. Kind of surprising because most of that wood was uh, standing trees just a couple weeks ago. Got a little bit of dead stuff in there. I went back in there and grabbed some of those dead locusts. They've been dead forever. Put them on there. Uh, tomorrow morning I'll come out here at daylight and the center will all be burnt out of this. I'll tuck it all in, get it going again, and uh, it'll be ready to go for tomorrow night when I come back out here. I'll report back tomorrow morning. All right, it is first thing in the morning. That's well, about seven o'clock, and it is a cold one this morning. It's about 39 degrees. Looks like my fire burnt down really nicely. I just came out here to uh, fire up the excavator we're going to tuck that all back into the center, get it burning again. And I'll take down just a few more trees here this morning, and then uh, we'll come back out this evening. But, uh, yeah, things are opening up pretty good. Warm up the excavator. We're going to have the heat going here this morning.
All right, I got a nice pile here. I'm not sure if it'll go or not. We're getting a little bit of smoke here. We'll see what happens. But we have a uh, visitor. You ready for bed, Melissa? Almost. It's a little tight. Yeah. Here's the thing. I have a hair clip in. And uh, at first, <laughs> I didn't realize that when I put the helmet on. And then I'm like, ow, something's poking. Well, I told them uh, when I came out here, we've been very busy. Oh, yeah. Tell them about the shower. It was a great day. So many nice folks came out to support Hannah and Tyler and this new baby. They're having a boy in November. So the baby shower is today. And it was great to see family and get together. It was really nice. And Hannah looks great, feels great. She loves being pregnant. Uh, she feels the baby kicking and moving. And so many nice folks, even subscribers. So many subscribers sent us cards and gifts for Hannah. So thank you so much to all of you that made this day special for her. I know I did my best and um, you know, I, I got them a crib and it was sent to their house. So like, as she's opening gifts, you know, I look awkward. Because <laughs> I'm like, ah, my gift's at their house. I don't know how they're gonna haul but everything home with them. I know, they have a whole carload of stuff, which is so nice. It was, it was just a really nice day. So she's got what, two months basically? Yeah. About two months to go. Yeah, and I have pictures if you want to put a couple pictures in it, just how nice it looked inside the building. The decorations were really pretty. She did like a, a wood theme. Um, there's that makes sense. Wood critters, yeah, and it was like little, a little fox, a little skunk, a little hedgehog, which we don't have baby hedgehogs around here. Maybe that's to be a pretend groundhog. And like a little bear, little, those little animals were her little theme. And then um, you had about what? Wood circle. Thirty people. Yeah, yeah. It was just perfect. It was nice. The building was perfect. Uh, the air, the cool split. Mini split. Mini split uh, was cranking out the air, and then a few people were cold. So. Yeah, because it it stayed That's relatively fine. cool today, but that sun was just kind of baking yeah. today, and uh, yeah. it was nice to be able to go in the patio or inside. Or yeah, and it was it was nice. It was nice to see everyone and just have conversation and eat. We had nice charcuterie boards and then pretzel rods that were dipped in chocolate to make it look like they were logs, and then um, little nut or butter cookies that had been dipped or a uh, chocolate. Hershey Kiss is melted and put on top so it looks like an acorn. Super cute. So yeah, I'll have Mike put in some pictures. I was actually going to do some of this video for Morgan's Off the Leash at my channel. And uh, the couple of things I had, uh, grandson Ty and granddaughter Thea the other day, I had them from like 8 in the morning to 8 at night. Ooh. So yeah, I did some pictures and videos of things we did. So I might put all that together. And We've had a busy them. week. It's a very busy week. Very busy week. Yeah, I'm going to sleep good tonight. How about you? I am. So I'm trying to get this fire going again, oh. and uh, we'll see what happens. But the area is getting bigger. I told them the other day we're kind of discussing as a family everything that we're going to do out here. Nothing is set in stone yet, but yeah. we'll let them know as soon as we come up with a plan. She has an idea. But yeah, I have we, lots of ideas, but maybe I'll do a video on that. <laughs> I'm kidding. We are going to need a good road out here. Yeah, uh, definitely. I may even do that. I am going to try to do that before winter. Uh, we've got that trail, but there's a bunch of turns and uh, one real steep part. We need a good road, yeah. you know, to get... Yeah, we'll drive trucks out here. Yeah. That'll that'll give a little hint. You know what? If you could take the excavator before and, like, pull back some trail here. It's all overgrown. Like, the dogs and I used to have a trail that go that way, and it's all overgrown because you didn't mow that part. So we've been coming out into the open, but then to go back into our trail, it's real high. Yeah, I can mow it again or... Oh, okay. I just thought since you had this thing out here. Is there any trees down out that way? Yeah, there's that one I've been asking you to get oh, on the trail. I'm dragging my feet. Drop a hundred of them here, but not well, the one I... that's in the way. <laughs> Ty drove, grandson Ty drove his Jeep from his house to our house. And he gets to that tree. I suppose my hair's all a mess here. He gets to that tree across the trail. And Levi was like, oh, hold on. You have to pick up his Jeep and move it over. Yeah. It's, it's a maple and it's it's a two-part yeah, you'll be able to lift it off. Or well, before we wrap this up, uh, oh, and to mention, Daughter Eva has another video published. This It's Saturday night right now. You're going to see this Sunday morning, so I think Eva publishes at 7. I think so. Check it out. <clears throat> I'll put she's that up. great. Her channel's growing, and she has great videos, and honestly, she's very entertaining. Gets it from me. 
gets it from you. Eva is very good pretty, in front of the I'm camera. Pretty entertaining too. It's just I've been very busy, and then I uh, I have a problem with my self confidence. I've lost my self confidence. No, you did not. not. I just haven't been able to publish videos, and like before you know it, two to three months go by, and I'm like. And a lot of the stuff, I if I do a video, you've already done it, and they already know it. So Plus, our newsletter is always going out, and that's updating everybody, too. So we have new things coming out in our newsletter. That's the other thing. Uh, go to our website, outdoorswiththemorgans.com. There will be a pop-up, and enter your email, and you are signed up for our newsletter. Don't You don't have to send us an email asking to be on it. Just go to our website, outdoorswiththemorgans.com. Yeah, the box pops up, and that's where you'll put your email in. And that would be helpful, because the ones that are saying, here's my email, put me on the list... It's not getting done just because we're so busy. And, and there's so many of them that do that. Yeah, so it's better if you go to the website. When the box pops up, put your email right in that, and you're on it. Boom. Boom. But anyway, I think that's it. Check out uh, Daughter Eva's video. And, and if you're entertained and have free time, go check out my videos if you haven't on Morgan's Off the Leash. I have a couple gun videos where my most recent last two videos. And, and one of your uh, biggest videos of all time was the cheeseburger soup one. Oh, yeah. It's getting into that now time that, of year. Yep. Yeah, and I might have to do an update to that because instead of using the chicken broth, I use beef broth. Hmm. I was mixing the two before, but I just do solid beef broth now. And right. some steak seasoning, that kind of... little ups kick. The taste, ups the taste, yeah, with some nice hard Italian bread. All right, well, we appreciate everyone being here. Yeah, thanks so much, and we'll see you on the next one.